Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this pendulum that I built, which is a double pendulum, which means that it has two bars instead of just one, as in a normal pendulum. Therefore, the movement is not only the bar going back and forth, as in the common pendulum, but we have also this other bar that can move independently it only has one point of pivot with the first bar. And this type of pendulum has the characteristic that its movement is chaotic, which means that the movement of the pendulum is different every time you put it in movement, even when you start the movement exactly in the same position. But we will talk more about this later after seeing the pendulum at work. The pendulum is made from recycled materials. The two sections of the pendulum are made from this large metal bar. This bar is from an old printer. This other small bar is uh, from a cartridge from a laser printer. And we have these two bearings. The bearings are from old damaged hard drives, such as this one. When you open the drive, here you can see this part here. It is the reading head of the disc and it has this pivot, which is a very high quality bearing. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The bearings are attached to the pendulum bars with epoxy beauty. Both this lower part and also in the upper part. It looks ugly but it works. Okay, let's put it to work. Again. Chaos theory is a branch of physics that studies chaotic systems. There are many chaotic systems and one of these is the double pendulum. In a normal pendulum, which has a single bar, the movement is pretty simple. We start at a certain position, the pendulum starts to swing back and forth and the friction makes it to slowly stop. But in this double pendulum, we can start at a certain position, for example, like this, and the pendulum will start to move in a certain fashion. The two parts of the pendulum will move in a certain way. And if we try a second time to put it exactly in the original position, the movement of the pendulum will be completely different. And that is because these kind of systems are very sensitive to the initial conditions. Any small difference, even a very, very small difference with the original condition will make the pendulum to trace a completely different orbit every time you start it. 
Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thank you and see you in the next video.